It makes sense that the most popular way to tell people to sharpen their knives is with a whetstone. Whetstones are inexpensive, they yield the sharpest knives with minimal metal removal, and the instructor gets to look cool while they show off their professional knife sharpening skills. But whetstones do require skill, and if you spend all that time between first purchase and whetstone mastery using dull knives, you're putting yourself in unnecessary danger. I keep seeing ads for mail-in knife sharpening services, and I like the idea of not having to to leave the house, but this costs more. You can't just send in one or two. And then what if the knife that you get back isn't perfectly sharpened? Unlike every other option I'm about to explore, you've got to wait to see the results and then wait even longer if you need to have them reworked. I understand that this might be a niche choice for a select few home bodies, but I stay away from mail-in sharpening services because even in a best case scenario, I'd be left knifeless while my most important tool crawls around the country at a postman's pace. One good non-DIY solution for the fellow homebody shut-ins, call up a traveling knife sharpener. They'll just pull up in a van and do their business in your driveway. This option requires the least sacrifice. You get your knives back immediately and you don't have to leave the house, but the price is about four times that of in-store sharpening provided that you're willing to go for a drive. If you have a Williams Sonoma or Sur Le Table in your area, you could just drive over there and get your first knife sharpened for free, plus any extras sharpened for just $5 each. This is the suggestion that I would give to anyone who's never ever gotten their own knives resharpened. The blend of low cost and low effort is an effective way to convince someone that this non-negotiable chore can be relatively painless. Once someone feels just how much safer and more productive their kitchen becomes with a sharp knife, it's an easy sell. If you don't live anywhere near one of these stores, call a couple of shops in your area that sell blades of any kind. I live next to an Ace Hardware and they offer inexpensive sharpening services for tools, utility blades, and kitchen knives. Now, the do-it-yourself options. These will all require some upfront cost, plus the time it takes to learn how to use them. If cost is no issue, just buy the Trizor that everybody loves. It's $170, and it's the epitome of buy once, cry once. For that one-time price, you can sharpen an unlimited number of knives at home quickly with almost no effort. There is an argument to be made that a tool like this removes more material from your knife than necessary, but for most people I think it'll take years for that to make a meaningful difference, if ever. The risk of shaving a year off of your knife's lifespan is way favorable than that of shaving an inch off of your finger. The exception, of course, is collectible or sentimental knives, but I'd hope anyone willing to drop a couple stacks on a handcrafted, irreplaceable blade that they wish to preserve for decades isn't watching this video because they already know how to use a whetstone. I've seen some wacky home sharpening products come out from time to time, but sometimes I have a hard time imagining who they're for. This is a contraption that clamps onto a work surface and holds the knife in place. You dial in the grinding angle and then drag the whetstone over the knife. You can get an unlimited number of repetitions at the exact same angle, so you get all the benefits of whetstone sharpening without needing any of the skills. The consistency you get is going to depend entirely on the build quality, and some buyers with precision instruments can prove fluctuations of about two degrees in either direction. I think I could live with that. After all, can a trained human hand really stay at the perfect angle consistently? What I can't get over is how precariously this has to be set up. You really have to trust this clamp not to drop a knife on your tootsies, and the blade has to face towards you, so this can't be for anyone who has kids or pets running around. You've got to dedicate the whole area to sharpening and nothing else for the entirety of the process. It's probably a fine choice for someone who lives alone, but if I was gonna buy a guide to help with whetstone consistency, I think I'd rather buy one of these cheap little angle guides. They help you keep your blade at a set angle as you drag it across the stone. These take up less space and cost significantly less than a whole table-mounted gadget, and it helps you get a feel for proper whetstone technique the way that training wheels help you learn how to ride a bike. Honing steels deserve an honorable mention for people who truly dread the task of sharpening. It doesn't sharpen your blade since it can't remove any material, but it does reshape it back to a point which would extend the effective time between sharpenings. I don't personally own one, partially because thanks to this video, I now own half a dozen knife sharpening gadgets, and partially because I'm just aggressively sharpening this big beefy Victorinox as a sort of coal mine canary to see how long it takes to remove a meaningful amount of metal. So far, 
no progress noted. The important thing that you walk away from this video knowing is that there is a way to sharpen knives that will work for you. As soon as you notice your knife losing its ability to effortlessly slice through a tomato or a sweet potato, it's time to sharpen the edge ASAP. Otherwise, your knife might slip before cutting in, and if it slips at the wrong angle, you could be spending the rest of your day nursing an injury. And since you won't be able to finish cooking, you'll be hungry the whole time. So unless painkillers and hospital food are what you like to see on a menu, stay sharp. Good Chop has paid to be mentioned at the end of this video. Good Chop offers meat delivered straight to your house. You can order everything from grass-fed ribeye to wild-caught salmon, and the boxes are fully customizable so you only get what you like. I got a box with chicken for my weeknights, sockeye salmon for Bree's weeknights, and this absolute unit of a New York strip for a special occasion. Celebrating another flawlessly executed ad read, of course. Unlike a lot of their competitors, Good Chop sources their meat and seafood exclusively from American farms and fisheries, and they offer a 100% money back guarantee. You will like Good Chop, or you'll get your money back. Go to goodchop.com and use code NETCHECK100 to get $100 off of your first three boxes today, or just click the link in the description below. Save yourself a trip to the butcher shop and go to goodchop.com to use the code NETCHECK100. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a celebratory steak to grill.